Hello, hello, this is Simone. I am here with another journal with me video in my May journal. I am actually trying something different this month. I do not want to work on my journal after the month. I am trying to journal as much as I can write when it happens. And I decided to use different challenges that are out in the internet to help me uh, find topics to journal about. Um, so I am actually going to uh, or following the Cocoa Daisy journaling challenge which is called CD journal every day in May. Um, and before I am going to continue and tell you what other uh, challenges I'm following, I will tell you what I'm doing to here. This is actually the box, not the box, the pouch that I am using to put all of my stuff in there because I have been taking this pouch to games of my sons. So I sit there and I actually have uh, some journaling prompting uh, stamp sets in there. I have scissors, um, tape runner, things that I picked from my stash, things that came in the Coco Daisy Day in the Life kit in, I think that was April. And yeah, just small things, not very much, but it really goes a very, very long way. Um, that's what I'm doing here. I'm flipping through. I have this old, old alphabet um, sticker sheet and then this is wrapping paper and I really really like that and I decided to just put it in there and use it when a prompt comes along that um, will work with it. I already know that there is one that is called birds of a feather and since there was a bird on there I decided yes I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it in there and I'm working on my currently page. Uh, if you remember and if you watch any of my videos, I am trying to do a currently page in every journal. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, I am using the stamp set that came in the May Planner add-on. And I'm so excited about this stamp set. It is an outline stamp set and the letters are square, squarish. Um, and then you can fill in the outlines with some pattern stamps. There is um, diagonal patterns and straight patterns. You will see when I start stamping. So before I start stamping, I use this picture that that's a selfie. That's one, another thing that I have been doing, um, adding one selfie <laughs> to my currently page each month. Month. This is a very funny selfie because uh, my son made a crown for me for Mother's Day and it says Happy Mother's Day. So I took a selfie in the mirror and that's what it looks like. I Before I started um, journaling in this journal or actually stamping because I'm stamping the headlines with the stamp set that we got in the Coco Daisy Planner add-on kit. Um, I used just a scratch piece of paper and started to write down all the prompts that I thought I would use and then decided to stamp, to not um, write listening and watching. I will do that, but I'm just stamping out watch, listen, eat and the ings I will be filling in with my pen. I realized that when I started stamping listening that I wouldn't fit the ing on there and so I decided oh well I did the same thing actually in April, no not in April, in, Ma in March and I really liked that and so why shouldn't I do the, the same thing with May. However in March I actually used um, letter stickers so, um, you saw me using a pencil before and I did that to just space out the stamping equally. I counted the prompts that I had and decided, okay, I will put 
uh, five on the left and five on the right side and then um, I looked how much space I had and then I just divided them up and made little marks with my pen just to know where approximately I should start writing stamping the um, prompts so I wrote not wrote I didn't write I'm talking here uh, I talked about challenges and if you look on Instagram for challenges you will find plenty I chose to participate in the foxy fix the traveler's notebook company foxy fix um, they make leather notebooks that's what I'm trying to say they have a challenge that is called the daily fox May 17 I think is the hashtag you will find and on Instagram then Coco Daisy has two challenges uh, the journaling challenge this month and there is a monthly Coco Daisy planner challenge that I um, am trying again this month so I realized very quickly in the month that I will not be able to do all of the prompts but I just chose and picked whichever I liked best I'm not caught up by any means and I definitely journal about whatever I want so if something happens on a day and I have a photo to go with a story or I only have a photo uh, a story I will definitely journal about that even though this might not be part of a prompt um, it's my journal after all and I can do whatever I want so here you can actually see how I use the patterned stamps I just chose four different colors and then I stamped the first and last um, empty space with the pattern and I switched them so that they would um, look different in every prompt and I really really like how that turned out um, yeah so challenges um, if you need to fill your journal because you love a traveler's journal but you don't really use it for planning and you can't fill it up for, for planning, there are lettering challenges, doodling challenges, journaling challenges. You could do quote challenges. You could do planner challenges. Um, just search on Instagram and you will find a lot. So I am actually entering all the things that I like this month. I can't remember because I made this last week. So I'm voiceovering this now and the screen is too small to tell you um, to read it from the writing. But that's, yeah, you can read it and tell me what you like and do this month. I really... I started out in January with I think four prompts but I really totally love this format and so I started to look for other prompts that I could add I might not use the same one every month but some will stay and be repeated every month and I think I'm actually done now I'm adding the wanting a prompt now and then I'm looking for a stamp to add because I try to catch my currents uh, in the middle of the month and so I just stamped the date I started with the 22nd usually and but here I did it on the 17th so yeah oh I forgot I started by actually adding the title currently and outlining the words with my uh, sharpie and yeah thank you so much for watching i really appreciate every comment and every like see you next time bye